We were at Lake Geneva for the uh, one of the big ice boat regattas, whether it was a Northwest, what they call the Northwest Championships, and the ice was getting rotten, you know, and you can you can tell because the uh, the sun will hit the ice and uh, pockets will kind of form. And the race committee came in and said, "We before we continue, <coughs> we want someone to go out there and test the ice." Oh, make sure it's okay and stuff. So, El Stupido here volunteers. I'll go do it. It was blowing, I was doing about 50 or 60 miles an hour somewhere in there. And, you know, and I'm looking and I'm going, all of a sudden I see more, more of these pockets appearing. And I thought, oh boy, I think we're finished. And uh, all of a sudden, my uh, starboard runner <coughs> went into one of these pockets. It snapped the plank, and uh, the plank tore off the boat, and the, the plank is right underneath my knees, and so it busted the boat right there and took one of my knees kind of with it, you know, the right knee. Got busted off, then the boat rolled over, and I'm upside down in the boat, and skittering across the ice kind of and tried to stand up but <laughs> collapsed i didn't realize that this was all busted up and, uh, and they were going to uh cart me off to the lake geneva hospital i said no i don't want to go there because i'll be stuck there for a while <clears throat> and i just told my brother olaf i said go get a six pack of beer and pile me into the car and uh, I'll drink the beer all, all the way down to Waukesha Memorial. But there's a, there's a lot, of, lot of instances out there on the ice you can fall into. This, this boat is just made out of uh, Kevlar and Nomex core, you know, the honeycomb core. It was the first one like that. And I thought it was the smartest thing in the world because I had the lightest skeeter going. And... Uh, I was winning the Northwest at the time, the last race, last run to the finish line. Willie Perigo was next to me or down in here somewhere, whatever, and cranking one more time, and the boat collapsed right there, just <laughs> totally collapsed. The ice so it was like this going on skidded into the finish line, but I was, you know, the other guys got in ahead of me. And the one thing uh, that I forgot about is that Kevlar is no good in compression at all. It's great in tensile strength and all of that. Of course, it's lightweight and all that. But I built the whole boat out of Kevlar, so the compressional loading on the mast is really, gets really high as you speed up. And I put all the pressure down on the boat, and she snapped off in, in that area. It's a stupid sport. <laughs> and, uh, but once you're under the rag and you're really hauling, the adrenaline really comes to you, you know, and there's, there's nothing like it. I would say that was my favorite sport by far. Uh, yeah, it, it uh, really gets into you. My baby. My stupid baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this... This was it, you know. <laughs>